Now, let's watch it together here. Let's see. In 318, the future is bright for cargo. We're moving away from the simplest implementation that we had before and just oh look at that this right here <laughs> oh there's gonna be some people getting pirated <laughs> for us to give some new gameplay give some new gameplay <laughs> it automatically loads would you look at that would you look at that, man? I want to see that again. For face, you load your ship, it automatically bop, 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 loads. Bop, bop, bop. But what's cool to me is like, um, again, all these boxes are physicalized, right? Oh my God, the piracy. Oh my goodness. When a vehicle explodes, instead of generating the larger 1SU boxes on destruction, it actually generates the smaller ones in this kind of gamey, magical way. Oh my God. Oh my god. The servers are gonna fucking melt. Larger one as <laughs> <laughs> Can someone say 30k? <laughs> it's raining 30k! <laughs> so that the player can actually go Well, this is dangerous, CIG, and listen to me. CIG needs to listen to me for a second because I'm about to give you guys a little bit of a lesson on players and what players are actually going to do versus what you want them to do. If you blow a ship up and it drops even 30% of its cargo, people are going to blow people's ships up because it's going to be a lot easier to just blow them up than it is to disable them, to board them, to steal the cargo. It's so much easier just to be like, ah, oh, yeah, fuck you, boom, and, bla and blast them, and then just pick up the pieces. So, you know, a SIG's got to be careful here, because if you blow somebody up, and it drops a good portion of their cargo, uh, it, it, they got to be careful, because players are just going to, just in incoherently going to run around and just start blasting people. Smaller ones, because it's easier to blast them and take their stuff than it is to board them and go through that mechanic. It's kind of uh, the ship exploding should damage some of those boxes. Okay, we good. Have good. About forty to fifty percent survived that explosion. Oh, there we go. Forty to fifty percent. So that's still about two thousand one eight SCU boxes. Uh, but then there's server performance issues to consider. So oh. what we've actually been doing is capping that at ten percent boxes being generated. However, on top of that, it's an incredibly tedious experience because now that's, if you were to do the math, about 400 boxes that you have to go pick up and collecting all of those by hand without a tractor beam. <laughs> with the new system, we've gotten rid of the one of uh, the C2 with the six, uh, 696 SCU. That would be 696 one SCU boxes rather than oh my god the loot pinatas i mean look at it it literally looks like a giant loot pinata all i see is money money because i can go and blast three or four a a a a a2s by the time it takes you to like rather than five thousand plus or for pirates that want to scoop up their <laughs> like, <laughs> they're this is why i love star citizen man because cig i love how they put little subtle fucking <laughs> <laughs> or for pirates so they put little subtle jabs in so like i literally released a video yesterday talking about that people need to wake the fuck up and prepare because you need to defend yourself right because guys with fucking goofy masks are gonna come and drink cutlasses and they're just gonna take it and there ain't nothing you can do about it unless you prepare train assess your surroundings have scouts like be smart be smart their, their ill-gotten gains then They'll have an easier time to get at it, and there'll be more value there when they try to do this. <laughs> See, this is... I fucking love SIG sometimes, man. So, I don't care what they say about you, SIG. You're doing all right. Generating a percentage of the boxes on destruction. See, Grogu's happy. There's a lot With of murder. Other aspect There's of a lot of murder in 318. That makes retrieval after disaster or collection after piracy easier and more reward. Collection after piracy. Say it, Jared. One more time. <laughs> to disaster or collection after piracy, easier and more rewarding than ever before. That it's the. 
Can we talk a little bit about boxes for a moment? Oh, there's going to be some salt. Oh, 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 there is gonna be some hurt feelings. If people, th this is so funny to me that I literally released a video this morning talking about how I was concerned about some people's attitudes when it comes to um, PvP and risk slash reward and all that stuff. The amount of players that are going to get into piracy once these boxes are in the game is going to be staggering. Truly staggering. Which means two things are going to happen. One, there will be a lot of people that are going to complain and say, why am I getting pirated? Why, you know, why this, that, and the other? This game shouldn't be like that, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, folks, but if you haven't accepted the fact that you are living in a sandbox with lots of other players and people, and that some of these players and people are going to steal your stuff, like, if you haven't made peace with that, it's probably best that you reevaluate your idea of Star Citizen. Star Citizen is not elite dangerous. Thank the lords. Thank the lords that this game is not like elite dangerous because if it was, we would all be fucked, right? And there's a reason why games like Elite Dangerous are falling off the planet when it comes to popularity, when it comes to enjoyability, and when it comes to just overall community. Now, after 10 fucking years, we are finally starting to see the fruits of the patience, right? So amen to that, for sure. Which means, this is very good for the entire Star Citizen player base. There's also a significant portion of the players in Star Citizen that are going to jump into Star Citizen because of stuff like this. Also, it's going to be really exciting for haulers and traders to start moving stuff around because this means that they're going to start implementing, hopefully, a reason to ship stuff from point A to point B, which means people are going to be making lots of money. So... With this being said, perhaps, and this is just an idea, perhaps if you are a player versus, sorry, if you're a, if you're a hauling organization, if you primarily hang around people who trade stuff in boxes and that's your gameplay loop, or you're a primarily industrial organization, please, for the love of God, please listen to me when I say make friends with a PvP org. It doesn't have to be Avenger Squadron. It doesn't have to be anyone in particular. Just make friends with some people who know how to fight. If you yourself are not going to learn how to fight, if you yourself are in an organization where you're not interested in fighting, that is totally fine. I don't look down on people that want that because we all need each other. But please get yourselves a security group who knows how to fight, who can help protect you so that you can start shipping stuff because the amount of piracy that's about to happen when 318 goes in and we start having all these boxes it's gonna be fucking wild it's going to be wild and it's gonna drive a lot of people into the game especially with the new combat coming in like star citizen is so close to blowing up the, the the enjoyment and the excitement that we're gonna have in the next in the next few years for star citizens development is gonna be awesome it's truly going to be awesome it's what a lot of us have been waiting for for a very long time that for this shit dude i mean if the, if the servers don't melt into a pile of molten lava from from all the boxes that uh <laughs> That loot pinata rain down after a kill. You know, if they if the servers don't melt, thank you know, and there isn't 30 Ks every 10 seconds, then oh boy. Oh man. Holy boys. That's gonna be a good one.
It's going to be a good one. Merry fucking Christmas, boys.